Welcome back, World Wide Web. Welcome to Hanging With. I'm GW Pometer. Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't already, go on down and hit subscribe for us so you can come back over and over again and, and find some new authors, some new writers, some new artists, creators of all kinds. And if this is your first time hanging with us, then thanks for being with us. We are here tonight hanging with Chelsea Clemens Moy, an author and a poet, the author of Frost and Other World Tale and a poet. Chelsea, thanks for hanging with us. Hi, I'm really excited about hanging with you guys. All right, well, thanks for being here today. Well, I'll tell you what, let's get the, let's get the work stuff out of the way. So tell us a little bit about uh, Frost and uh, well, what inspired it and what it's about. Well, Frost is my baby. I was actually really big in the online forum RPing world for a long time, and I'm a giant movie geek also and uh it was originally a spin-off of Snow White a Tale of Terror and uh I role played it with a friend of mine Lauren Kadahia and then we uh you know we both fell out of the RPing world a little bit RPing being role playing of course sorry I didn't make that clear earlier but uh <laughs> it's the world wide kinda, web I think they know <laughs> yeah she she told me that I could should continue to pursue the idea and it kind of evolved into this weird amalgamation of Snow White, A Tale of Terror and Star Wars, which is a huge, huge part of my life. I've been a Star Wars fan since I was in diapers. And it's um it's a weird fantasy amalgamation, fantasy sci fi just this world that sprang up in my head out of the RP world and it's it's pretty fantastic. I've been working on it for 10 years now. Wow. Well, that's, and, and it's out there now for everyone else to, to enjoy. And, and uh, when, did, when, did, when did this hit the bookshelf, bookshelves? When did this come out? Um, it should release this, depending on how long the, uh, the editing process takes, it should release this winter. Oh, man, that is fantastic. Well, congratulations to you on that. And uh, we can't wait to check that one out for sure. Um, I understand that you also have out a collection, a collection of reflections, poetry. So how, how, yes. how long have you been writing poetry? Um, I actually wrote that entire book when I was in high school. It's all poetry that I wrote in high school. And it released in 2009 the year I lost my grandfather and I actually have not written poetry since my grandfather died oh wow and um, so from poetry jumped right into the to, the to the novel writing so you are in for a great adventure so welcome to the author's community Chelsea um, now I understand Excellent. from from reading a little bit about you online I understand that you are about as big a pop culture geek as they make so we've yeah. got some fun questions for you here. We'll start out with, what is your favorite RPG? My favorite RPG is actually a tie between Skyrim and Fallout 4. I love them both. Wow, that is fantastic. So um, now RPGs are terrific games because they let you kind of dive into the world a little bit and be your own character. Um, but they also have stories that are going on. They're great games for storytellers. Uh, do you have a favorite character from an RPG? Um, I don't. I don't really like to play favorites a lot. Sorry, my Doberman's trying to say hi to everyone. <laughs> well, <Stop>. hello. <laughs> Baby, no. <laughs> Sit. Seven months old and doesn't listen at all. I'm a oh, huge animal wow. lover. Well, now, we, we also see uh, that when you have a chance, you're watching TV, you're a Vampire's Diary, uh, Vampire Diaries fan. Yes. Well, you know, we, we have to ask, Team Stefan or Team Damon? Team Damon. Team all Damon the all the way, huh? <laughs> the girls behind the camera just went, yes. So... Uh, <laughs> Edward Damon. Well, you know, since we're weighing in on these great rivalries of the day, Big things happening in theaters all over the country, all over the world, really. Team Cap or Team Iron Man? Uh, guys, I think we lost her. Team Cap. Oh, 100%. Team Cap. Oh, okay, there you go. Um, all right. So, 
Uh, tell us, if you uh, could, what would the ultimate superpower be? Oh, gosh. I would, for me, because I love the ocean so much and I love snorkeling and skin diving, I would have to say being able to breathe underwater or manipulate water would be really cool. Wow, that's good stuff. That is really good stuff. So, um, you know, writers are creative people, but we love other creators as well. So... So you're driving down the street, get headed, for, headed to Starbucks, going to grab a cup of coffee for that next novel that you're going to write, and uh, the radio comes on. What are you singing? Oh, God, The Sound of Silence by Simon <laughs> The Sound of Silence. Outstanding. Uh, that's, when, I, when I'm in the car singing, that's what they wish I was doing. <laughs> Oh, we're, we're, we that is, that's my favorite song in the whole world. There you go. There you <laughs> go. Well, I'll tell you what, um, we, uh, we want your readers to get to know you a, a little bit and what you're into and what you like. So, uh, I don't know if you got your phone handy or whatever. What's the last thing you took a picture of? The last thing I took a picture of. Let me see. Um, the last thing I have on my camera roll is actually some of my art that I downloaded oh. from my list. Wow, that's fantastic. And the last thing I actually took a picture of is my saltwater tank that my husband and I have in the living room. Oh, okay. What kind of fish you got in there? We have some, some really cool saltwater fish and seahorses. Oh, cool. That is really neat. Um, so... What is the, now you're, we, we've seen that you're on social media quite heavily, and uh, we want to know, uh, what is the last meme that you saw that made you laugh? The last meme that I saw that made me laugh? I'm really addicted to this one group on Facebook. I'm going to have to look up their name, but they have the best memes ever. Let me see if I can find them. <laughs> They're extremely funny. Um... Actually, I don't know if I can say that name on here, but let me see. I, I downloaded the meme <laughs> because I save all the great ones to my phone. Wow. And it's, uh, it's actually, sorry, but I don't answer private numbers or numbers that I don't know or anyone ever also don't call me. I love that <laughs> one. <laughs> that, that, see, folks, Chelsea is serious. When she says the sound of silence, she means it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, you, uh, you are on your way to getting this first novel out there to readers everywhere. We're sure you're going to be a big best-selling author. So we want to ask you, when those first royalties come in, what is your shopping weakness? Where, do you, what are you, where are you going first? Where's that first royalty check going? My first royalty check, actually, my first royalty check is going to be going to pay off debts. But after that, I will probably <laughs> spend every cent I have at the bookstore. At the bookstore. Outstanding. That, well, writers are readers. What's on your bookshelf right now? What are you reading right now? Oh, what I'm reading right now, I actually can lay hands on, and it's fantastic. I absolutely love Tess Garrett and the print Tess Garrett's in. Outstanding. Very cool. So we want to know um, if uh, now that you're going to be a, a big best-selling author, uh, obviously you're going to have all kinds of contact from all over the place. So in the movie of your life, who's going to play you? Oh, hmm. let me see. Who would I pick to play me in my, my life? It would definitely have to be somebody short because I'm only five feet tall and you know power to short people gotta love them um, <laughs> we got a lot of thumbs up going on behind the cameras over there so <laughs> I would have to say Ellen Page I just I adore everything about her pretty much fantastic well what's coming up on TV or in the theaters anything that you're looking forward to seeing coming up here in the future oh yes uh, I've been binge watching Hemlock Grove on Netflix and I adore that show it's oh. really well written fantastic it's an amazing show amazing and, and uh, also i'm super excited for teenage mutant ninja turtles my husband and i are both big ninja turtles fans outstanding so who's your favorite turtle mikey 
Michael, Michelangelo, <laughs> outstanding, good deal. Well, I'll tell you what, um, why don't you go ahead one more time and tell our viewers again what exactly Frost is about. Give us the book blurb. Well, well, Frost is actually a story mostly about family, because I know I have a huge family. We're really extended. We had a family dinner Tuesday night to celebrate my grandmother's birthday. She's not with us anymore, but we got together on her birthday, and there were 40 people at this family dinner. And, you know, Christmas and Thanksgiving are bigger than that with us. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's really a family story, and Lauren's unhappy with a lot of things that are going on in her family. Her father dating a girl that's only three years older than she is. But once she gets sent to this other world, she really realizes how important her family is to her and how important getting back to them is because she doesn't know what she would do without them, even though they frustrate the living mess out of her. They're, they're her world, and she's got to get back to them. Wow, that's, that's fa what a fantastic story. Um, there, there are, those are the great stories that remind us to be careful what we wish for uh, and because you never know what we're going to miss. So thank you so much for sharing mm -hmm. that with us, Chelsea, and thanks for having a little bit of fun with us. Uh, they're, giving oh. me the, they're giving me the little symbol behind the camera there, so uh, they, they want me to wrap things up. Make sure, viewers, make sure you go down and check the links down below. We're going to link you to Chelsea's social media feeds and to where she is and what she's doing so you can keep an eye out. Frost will be coming out uh, up the road here. Frost and Otherworld Tale. You can, right now, you can check out her collection of poetry that's already online and we're going to link that down there in the description also um, as we wrap up we want to make sure that we thank our friends over at something unique magazine books chocolate and wine the florida book news authors for authors wordfire press and the nerdo ramen network for sharing these videos all over the world wide web i'm gw pomager and we have been hanging with chelsea clemens moy a poet and the author of Frost and Other World Tale coming soon to bookstores everywhere. So go online, and as soon as she has dates for that, you guys go ahead and pre-order that. Get it coming in, and you can read it first, all right? And we're already going to do ours, so we, we want to get our copy first. So, Chelsea, thanks for hanging with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate you having me on the show. I loved it. Oh, not a problem. Thank you very much. That's what we do. We love sharing artists, authors, and creators all over the World Wide Web. We hope that our viewers will check out some of these great books and this great art that they see. Again, I'm G.W. Pomacher. We've been hanging with Chelsea Clemens Moy. Remember, subscribe, log on, tune in, and see who we're hanging with next.